We're waiting to learn more information about the suspect. Officials say stabbed four people, leaving them critically injured. It happened near the intersection of Academy Drive and Highway 72 around 3 o'clock this afternoon. Way 31's Brittany Harry has been there all night long. She has the latest on this investigation. Brittany. Well, Dan and Akel, the scene is clear out here now. Very quiet, in fact. A much different picture than what you saw earlier if you were with us at 5 and 6 on Way 31. Just, you know, as police were collecting evidence out here, trying to piece together exactly what took place and what led up to this stabbing. So uh, we know that it was pretty busy earlier and we also know that I spoke to a couple of neighbors in the area about what they saw and what they witnessed and also this Awabaho gas station that's right across from where I am standing. They provided some video showing one of those victims before he got into the store. Oh, it was crazy, crazy world. This was the scene on Academy Drive in Huntsville today where multiple people were rushed to the hospital after a reported stabbing in the area. A woman who lives nearby says she heard someone yelling for help and shortly after, a little boy was asking her to call the police. As me helping and on the phone with 911, I see three ladies come out the house. They all is drenched in blood. All four of the victims were taken to the hospital in critical condition, according to HPD. This is one of them running toward a Wabaho gas station nearby before collapsing as soon as he made it inside. I heard somebody running all the way over there and uh, they had came to the gas station and uh, he had blood on the back of his arm. This man acted like Jason to them or something because the lady, the older lady neck was sliced all the way around from front to back on one side. It's unclear what led up to the incident right now, but it's believed some sort of altercation occurred, according to HPD. Huntsville police say the suspect was arrested by Redstone Arsenal police after fleeing the scene. He was taken into custody by HPD, but has not been identified tonight. But I seen him over here before and I never really thought none of it. He didn't run past me like he was the aggressor. He didn't. He just seemed mad. And as for that little boy that that woman that that witness uh, saw, she says that she doesn't believe that he was injured at all in any of this, just wanted someone to call 911. But as for police, they say that their investigation is ongoing right now. And of course, as soon as we learn any new information, get the suspect information, we'll be sure to pass that along to you. For now, reporting live in Huntsville, Brittany Harry, Way 31 News.